So we've created our comparative line graph and now we need to present it appropriately. We're almost there. So the first thing we're going to do is click on our graph and press Control C. That copies it. We open a new Word document. Control V, paste it in. So you can see our graph is presented exactly how we have it in the Excel document, which is a good start. Now, with all figures that we put into a document, we should always have a border around it. So click on it. And we are just going to see where it is. Nope. There we go. Go into the Format tool. And we're just going to go Outline Black. Excellent. Now, also, if we're going to be presenting a graph as part of a report or as part of an assignment, we should not present it with the heading in the middle or on top of the graph. So the convention is that we add a label underneath. Now the best way to do it is to go right click, insert caption. It automatically selects figure one. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy and paste or we're going to um, replicate the information above Square Rocks Weather Station 2021 2022 Summer Bleaching. Make sure there's no typos. And we can see that position is below the selected item, which is exactly right. So we just click OK. Check that out. It includes it, which means that we can now click on that title up in our graph and we can delete it and it actually stretches our graph out so it's even easier to read. Now we're just going to press enter and the last thing that we need to do is include our source. Now our source is actually back on our original document down the bottom here. It says AIM, so that's the Australian Institute of Marine Science in 2022. Now we can just control C, copy it, go into our Word document, control V and it automatically puts it in. Now, two things I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the text all to black. And I'm going to check the size of my fonts here. Now, the size of my figure number is really quite small. It should be around 11 or 12 point font, so it's easy to see. My source underneath is not as important as my title, so I can bring that down to 9 or 10 point font. So usually a two point uh, difference. My graph is now ready. The last thing I'm going to do is go File, Save As. For me, I'm just going to drop it on my desktop so it's easy for me to find. I'm going to include my name in the file name so the teacher finds it very easily. And it's my graph. And I go Save. So my graph's now done. You can email it to your teacher and we are all happy.